To run a website or application, we need a web server. And throughout this course, we've been using the WebZ Academy servers to host our code. Now we're going to look at how we can configure our application to run on our local machine. To do so, we'll still need some sort of web server, and it just so happens that ClickSense Desktop starts its own small web server when it's running. This is why we're able to open the hub in a browser if we go to this URL. We can use this to our advantage and have ClickSense Desktop host our application. For this to work, there are a few steps we need to take that are specific to using the ClickSense web server environment. Firstly, we'll put our application folder, which contains these files, into the ClickSense Desktop extensions directory. This is typically found in the My Documents ClickSense location. The extensions directory can be used to host all different types of solutions, including web applications, visualization extensions, and widgets. So we need to tell ClickSense which of these types each solution is. We can do this by creating another file in our project folder with the file extension QEXT, the content of which is JSON. In this setup, it's worth noting that the naming convention should be kept consistent between your project folder and the QEXT file. The QEXT file contains all of the metadata for the solution and can include information that we deem necessary. For now, we're going to keep it simple and just include the properties required for the solution to run, which are the name and type. We can provide the name of our choosing, but the type for a web application needs to be set to mashup. Next, we need to have ClickSense register the solution which is done by simply opening the dev hub. If our solution appears in the list of available mashups, then the QEXT is configured correctly, and we can open our solution in a browser by going to http localhost 4848 slash extensions slash the name of our directory, and then the name of the HTML file we want to load. If our tool of choice for creating and editing click API based solutions is the dev hub, then we'll need to create another file to help the dev hub identify the different files that are part of the solution. This file is called the wbfolder.wbl and should contain the name of each file, one per line, terminated with a semicolon. And now we can use the dev hub to manage the code. You can stay up to date with all of our content by subscribing to our YouTube channel or following us on social media. If you'd like a more interactive learning experience, then head over to webz.academy, where you'll find our full set of training courses complete with hands-on activities and much more.